Greetings, I'm Dr. Kirkwood. As a parent and as a teacher, the most important thing that you can do is to instill Christ-like values and character into the life of every child that God has entrusted to you. The reading program is structured and it enables every child to become an excellent reader. But more importantly, it gives you the opportunity of instilling and teaching Christian values. The small reading group is a critical part of the educational program. First, it enables the student to learn to orally read well within a group situation. The discussion portion provides an opportunity for the child to be able to critically think and express his thoughts to his peers. There's also time to review vocabulary and address comprehension questions. There are 12 books in the small reading group series. Each book contains 50 stories. The length of the stories range from 90 to 1500 words. Story length progressively increases with grade level. There are two books per grade level. While spiritual truths are taught throughout the entire reading series, the small reading group discussion period helps to integrate and assimilate the truths into the self-structure and thereby manifest themselves into the character of the child. In addition to the stories and discussion questions, there are vocabulary lists to be reviewed at the end of the reading group. The vocabulary lists are located in the back of each book. The discussion portion of the group time enables a child to be able to critically think and express his ideas and beliefs about the values under discussion. The atmosphere within the group setting should be one of love, acceptance, and respect. While the values under discussion are biblically based, it is not a time for indoctrination, but a time for soul searching in order to discover the truth. In an environment of love and acceptance, the truth of God's love, character, and guidance will manifest itself. The result is for the child to grow in Christ-like character. The program is designed for the reading group to contain approximately 10 students. This can vary depending upon the student class size and the intrinsic needs within the class itself. The important factor is that each student should be given approximately one minute to read orally within the group. The normal small reading group is scheduled for a minimum of 30 minutes. Allowing five minutes for setup and dismissal provides a productive work time of about 25 minutes. With each student reading for one minute, leaves 15 minutes for group discussion, answering comprehension questions, and or giving time to review vocabulary list and prayer. The reading group time can be scheduled any time throughout the school workday. It should be scheduled in a time when no additional demands are placed on the teacher. The location of the reading group will normally be within the classroom itself. A large round table, a circle of chairs, or a circle on the floor provides a sense of togetherness. The physical structure of the reading group should facilitate a feeling of closeness and intimacy for sharing. An abbreviated list of the story themes and articles is as follows. Relationship with God. Relationship with other children. Work ethic. Respecting and helping parents. Reflection on self and self-identity. Family. Self-care and hygiene. Character. Self-care. 
possibility. Stewardship for the environment. Within each progressive grade level, the stories and articles become more advanced and sophisticated. All the stories are designed to progressively develop greater depth of values and character. After each child takes his seat within the circle or around the table, the teacher should first introduce the character theme and its importance. In order to make the rotation of different readers as easy as possible, extra space is provided between the sentences with a forward slash in the middle of an extra space. This structure helps to identify the amount of reading for each student. The teacher can easily make adjustments depending upon the size of the reading group. The important thing for the teacher is to calculate ahead the amount of time in relationship to the number of students present to determine the quantity of reading for each student. Upon the completion of each student's reading, the teacher should read the discussion question. The teacher can use all of the remaining reading group time, if necessary, for critical discussion. The discussion portion of the group time is designed to foster the development of critical thinking skills. It is recognized that the questions within the individual reading books are factual and not subject to interpretation or necessarily higher order thinking skills. The small reading group discussion is designed to overcome this deficiency. As students discuss the themes and values inherent within the story, critical thinking skills are developed. They learn to orally express themselves and to think about the themes and the values. In the process of doing so, the values to be learned become integrated and assimilated into the self-structure of the student. This is the most important objective in the reading group. When there becomes a sense of closure in terms of the discussion question, the teacher has the option of having the students answer the comprehension questions or review the vocabulary lists. At the end of each story, 10 comprehension questions are given. These consist of two true or false, four multiple choice, and four fill in the blank. Upon the conclusion of the students reading the story, the teacher should ask each student to answer one comprehension question. This can occur rapidly by sequentially moving around the group with each student reading the question and giving the correct answer. If the answer is correct, the other students can give a thumbs up, they could nod, or do whatever to silently affirm the child and the correct answer. If the answer is incorrect, the student can be given a chance to correct his answer. If the student cannot provide the correct answer, the teacher can use it to teach the student to go back and reread the portion of the story to get the correct answer. The teacher should use the comprehension questions to teach due diligence, not simply guess if the student does not know the answer. The lesson provides the teacher the opportunity to teach pride and excellence in terms of working to get 100% comprehension. In the small reading group stories and articles, up to 10 new words are integrated within the text. For identification purposes, the words are italicized. The purpose is to require the student reading to sound out the word using his or her phonetic skills. The structure of the group requires the student to learn to sound out new words rather than take the easy way out by skipping over the word. The teacher should not allow other students within the reading group to shout out or to say the word. This would defeat the purpose of teaching due diligence for the child reading to learn to automatically sound out new words. If a student has a problem sounding out the word, the only person who should help is the teacher. If the child mispronounces the word or simply has trouble, the teacher can phonetically sound it out and then repeat it normally. 
At no time should the student let his trouble sounding out a word be made fun of by the other students. The character trait being developed is one of mutual love and support for one another. Any negative attitude or behavior exhibited within the group can become a teaching and a counseling opportunity. With reading groups scheduled for three to five times per week, twice during the week the teacher should have the students review the vocabulary lists in the back of the reading book. Each list is divided into approximately 150 words. These are grouped in groups of 15, so with 10 students, each student is able to read 15 words. The teacher should place a check or a star along with the date in the corner of the reading list each time the students complete the list. Procedurally, each student should read one complete list. The teacher can simply sequentially move around the group with each child reading one list. If the student has difficulty with a word, he should be given time to sound it out. The review of vocabulary exercises can be modified by the teacher to meet the particular needs of the students. The important thing is for all the students to continue to have mastery of the vocabulary words. This should be a fun, fast-moving exercise because most of the students will remember all the words through multiple exposures. At the end of small reading group time, the teacher should conclude by asking one child to close in prayer. The small reading group book is also designed to be used in the home with parents. The purpose and objectives are similar to the small reading group structure at school with several differences. The parents in the home can structure a family time to participate with the child at reading the story or article and facilitate the discussion of the values conveyed. Other siblings, parents, and the student can take turns reading the story in rotation basis. The forward slash defines the amount of reading for each person. If there is only one parent involved, the child and the parent can take turns. The important component at the conclusion of the oral reading is the discussion questions. This is a time for the parent to ask the child what he thinks about the value that has been put forth in the story or article. It is a time for the parent to help the child actually think about the value and be able to help him articulate his thoughts. Through the process, a strong bonding can occur between the parent and the child. This time can be of great value in teaching and facilitating the integration and assimilation of values in the child. The parent can also go through the comprehension questions with the student, each taking turns reading the question and stating the answer. If time permits, the parent and the child can go through the vocabulary list. It is always good to alternate with each participant reading one list. This gives the child a feeling of equal participation. Small reading groups should be done a minimum of three days per week if other family devotion times are used on alternate days. The program can be done as part of a family devotional period or simply by itself. The reading program is the foundation of parent involvement in helping the child develop the habit of completing his homework. The process is also designed to enable the parent to become an active participant in the child's education in a hands-on way. Please remember that the reading program not only enables every child to become an excellent reader, but it is an absolute requirement for the Christian teacher and parent to take the opportunity to teach values and character and prepare each child that God has entrusted to them to the challenges of life that they will face. Thank you.